So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover the project that is connect data cloud to agent force and from builder now for this we have series of complete co course now the first task that is get started with data cloud has been completed now in this video we'll cover the second module so that is bring external data into the contact page so now click on launch and if you are unable to see this launch button what you need to do you need to go back and just check the first video which is present in the playlist of the pinned comment basically we have to first of all click on this that is the app launcher and from here just type data cloud so bus just click on this data cloud now it will take a while so wait for it now here basically what you need to do first of all close this and from here we have to just do one thing that is we have to click on the data stream and create a new data stream so just click over here now what you have to do you have to click on new so just click on new sometimes what happens it takes time to update the page so just wait for a few more seconds and click on new here once you have click on new it's taking a bit so now you can see finally it's open now click on new like this and here you'll see salesforce crm just click on it and you don't have to click anywhere here just click on next so how you'll click on next you can see here next button click on it now here we have to select the data source so for that custom bundle click on it now make sure it is checked now again click on next just click on next and after that what you need to do is you have to deploy it so just wait till it continues now all things is correct next again scroll down and click on next and deploy basically this will be step by step video because in previous video many reported that they want step by step guide even though the video is lengthy still they want step by step guide so this will be step by step guide okay now we have to do one thing wait for it to get deployed successfully after that we will move to the next step of this lab it may take two to three minutes so just wait till it gets deployed successfully you can see it's finally deployed now what we have to do we have to wait till the last run status was succeeded yes you heard it right you can see on the page that the status of both these are not updated yet so what we have to do basically we have to just select all like this and click on update status so now it will take at least 15 to 20 minutes sometimes even more so you need to wait until the last run status and the last process shows any value basically in the last run status it will show succeeded first you will show none and then it will update to pending and then succeed it so just let's wait so once you have click on this refresh button what will happen it will refresh itself and try to generate the latest response now here in the data stream page also on the lab manual you can see it's clearly mentioned you can see in yellow line that it may take up to 15 minutes for the last run status to show up success so you need to wait for 15 minutes and then only we'll move forward to the next step of this course so just wait i repeat do not move until the last run status to succeeded so i am just increasing the speed of the video do another thing also like you can just select all the data stream name on the top and just click on update also so there are multiple ways to do this so here like this let me show you select all and on the top you can see update just click on it now sometimes what happens yes after the 10 to 12 minutes the status has been updated to pending so once it gets succeeded we'll move forward to the next step till now wait and watch
let's try to update it again try updating so it depends on the lab environment sometimes you may get the succeeded status earlier also sometimes it may take a while so you need to wait till you get succeeded i am repeating this because many of you may miss this step that's why many have requested also to just keep repeating again and again till we don't deviate the path basically many of you try to do yourself but you need to understand what is the main steps so that you don't get any error in this course so it's again pending we have to wait i think so finally after 17 minute 28 seconds we were able to get the status it might differ in your case so now let's move to the next step do not skip do not move ahead until you get success status otherwise you may face an accessory error now one error many are facing that is of reservations that is reservation list is not showing so let's start this next step you have to click on identity resolution on that tab now basically you have to click on create new rule set just follow the video now here select individual individual and the id will be cc id that is rule set id copy carefully make sure there is no extra space or dot now just click on next now for the name also you have to check the lab instructions only see the name carefully copy it carefully and just paste over here now for the description enter the description from here now once you have done you have to toggle off this run job all things are cleared all things have been verified now click on this make sure you have followed the way now what we have to do we have to just configure it once it is deployed so it's taking some time so wait for it so finally the rule set has been created now click on the configure button now here click on next now you have to click on configure and from here you have to select email you can see fuzzy name and normalized email click on this button and just next you can see there we don't have to do anything now click on next save now after that we have to just run this rule set that is mentioned as per the lab instructions so from here you can see here run just click on it once and it will start running so you can see on the top here the lab status job status is scheduled and currently it's running wait till it gets completed and it may take 4 to 5 minutes so just wait until it gets completed status you can see it's showing in progress status shows in progress once it's ready or done we'll be able to execute the next steps so just wait so for the job to run completely it may take 4 to 5 minutes sometimes even 8 to 10 so until you see the lab job status has succeeded do not move ahead i am saying this because unlike the quick labs that is google platform here each lab is connected and if you make any mistake in a single lab you have to wait for 24 hours to complete this whole course again so better just follow the video along with me and complete it together just slowly slowly so wait for the status to go succeeded till then in case you haven't like the video like it and do subscribe the channel now here the job status is succeeded now what we need to do we need to move to the next step so what is the next step let's explore now it come back to the salesforce console that is the instruction manual from here we have to open the setup you can see this settings icon click on this setup now on the setup 
you have to just open the object manager and from here we have to select contact as they have clearly mentioned not contract only contact so once you have clicked on the object manager it taking some time so wait for it meanwhile do comment down your country or city from where you are watching the video now here what we have to do you can just scroll down and find the contacts or you can use the quick find that is just basically the searching option so just type contact or paste over here you can see on the top it's there so click on it now basically we have to just create a new so from here you can see data cloud related list click on it now click on it again now here yes here only many people are facing one issue that they are unable to choose external reservation but as you all are aware we have created it in previous step only so if you are getting this kind of error many people are reporting this kind of error so how you will fix it don't worry i am here no need to fear i will tell you step by step method how we will get this so you can see we are unable to find it again so let me show you how we will find it because no tutorial is present here on the entire youtube which is saying how you can enable it so i will tell you just wait for a few seconds so what we need to do come back here and from here we have to just go to our data model what we have to click click on the no we don't have to click on the identity resolution we have to click on the data model so you have to just come back on the top you can see the data model you have to just click on it you have to click like this and here basically we will enable the external reservation so how you will find it you can see on the list here we have external reservation click over it and then what you need to click do on simply the edit button wait a second you have to just click on this edit button okay now what you need to do you can see here all things are correct just click on save now sometimes what happens due to glitch you are unable to locate this external reservation now we'll come back again wait for it to get status to get ready currently it's provisioning and once it's ready we'll be able to complete that task only so just wait for a few more seconds also if you want any other modules you can comment down below basically what i did here basically i clicked on edit i am repeating these steps in case anyone missed it so i clicked on edit and here basically once the things are verified that all things are ready you can see all the data that is check-in date and all things are okay then we have to just go back now from here you can see we came back here and we are still unable to find the reservation what you need to do you need to close it and just open it and now we'll definitely find the reservation you can see here it's showing external reservation now you have to just click on it and just wait for a few seconds and then click on next now what happens we have to change the name also so for the name come back to the lab instructions basically just paste the name here click on next now label also label and related list is both same both are same now click on next so finally we have done these steps now the next step is that click on this lightning record pages and here click on contact page now here basically we have to configure this web app so for that what you need to do click on this contacts so finally you can see here we have to click on the edit button on the top and it will reload a new page and here we will be modifying the web page let me increase the size because most of you guys are unable to see even i am also so now here in between the we found and opportunities we have to just drag one thing that is can you see what we have to drag that is dynamic list yes you heard it right 
dynamic list you can see dynamic related list so just come to the section it's alphabetical order only so just drag it in between this and leave your mouse cursor so it will update now remove this unwanted thing now here you can see it's getting updated so basically what we have to do you can increase or decrease the zoom also like this so basically what we have to do now here from the related list we have to select reservation you can see here wait a minute related list reservations so we have to just select it just you can type it or just select it also now the related list also now here we have to just add the field that is check in date check out date room type etc all things are mentioned here check in check out date room type reservation status we have to just select all each one by one so just select it like this and click on done you have to select one by one you cannot select all in one shot so just wait sometimes the thing is not visible so you need to just wait for a few seconds or use backspace again add it copy carefully or just type it also there is no issue So all things thing have been added what you need to do you need to remove the record id for removing the record id you have to just click on the plus icon next to it okay i hope it's getting cleared so now all things have been done we have to just create a filter so you don't have to change this filter now here scroll down and click on related this filter add filter for the filter it will be chicken date and the value operator will be not equal to okay you can see here it's not equal to so just update it and just click on done these things have been done now just save it so here you have to click on the save button okay next to activate it will be save button you have to just click on it after that just activate the web app okay so now here just click on the save click on activate Now come back here and try to verify the steps. If you follow the way I have done, you will definitely get the score. And sorry if you are unable to view the full screen because the, I don't know what happened. But if you follow the voice, you must have completed this lab. So that's how we completed this web app and we are done with the complete module of part 2 so finally we are done with this module for the remaining modules it will be updated on the playlist and currently you can see the first sec and second is done now we have to just complete the third and fourth for that i have created a playlist you can see it here 